What's good, YouTube? It's your man BG Tech Life, and as you can see, we got the Pixel 7a on deck. Now, we're talking about the new Android 14 Beta 5.3 update. I just updated my device, it came out yesterday. Now, you guys know I did a whole review of the Pixel 7a since receiving Android 14 beta 5.2 but that being said we're not going through all that but i do definitely want to show you all a little bit of what android 14 beta 5.3 is about and i just want to let y'all know my thoughts on why it's so many betas right now instead of just the official android 14. so as you can see we run a beta android 14 on my pixel 7a um and it's easy to download i'll put the download link because Basically, all you have to do, if you want to join the Android beta program, you just go to a website, opt in, and when you go to update your Pixel, it'll guide you into updating to the latest beta Android that's out there. But I know a lot of you guys, if you're not already on beta, you might just want to go ahead and wait for the official Android 14. So as you can see, not a lot going on here, guys. You can pause this and read it for yourself. This is 9 to 5 Google website. Basically, the fixes that's going on, with this Android 14 beta 5.3. As you can see, as we're getting closer to Android 14, we're just getting a lot of little beta updates with fixes. The last update was non fixes. This update is non fixes. So what I'm thinking is guys, either during a Google event, October 4th is when Android 14 is going to be released, or you want Android 14 to be officially released on the Pixel 8 and the Pixel 8 Pro. I have read that in different articles before. I think they really getting ready for this Pixel 8 Pro. I think it's gonna be a really good experience with a new processor and a complete Android 14. They are constantly working as you can see. When you keep getting betas back to back to back, that means there's a team working on the software of these devices. Um, as you can see, Google starting to implement. First, we had a leak. You know, of course, we're gonna call it a leak, but sometimes I think these companies behind it, then they officially showed us what the Pixel 8 and what the Pixel 8 Pro is gonna be looking like. And now we've also seen some of the Pixel Watch 2. So I think what they're doing is getting the software completely dialed in. Um, a lot of times, do you remember the Pixel 6 Pro? That, can't, that phone came out waiting, looking for an update. That phone was on the Android that had came out a couple months ago. I'm not exactly sure about the Pixel 7 Pro. I can't exactly remember, but it seems like Google is really cooking. They want to be in front of this device. They want to be proactive. So they are actually really working on this software, getting all little fixes fixed, all little bugs fixed. What the most seamless release of software and new device ever with new processor. So I'm kind of excited about it. I've been covering the Pixel line for a while now, guys, and I've just been going through the ups and the downs with Pixels, the good things they've done, and the things that haven't been so great about Pixels, because I see, I definitely see it in my comment section, and I see it in my day-to-day -day use. But somebody who genuinely cares about the Pixels, like to use Pixels and things of that nature, I'm genuinely excited for the Android 14 official, because it seems like they're working really hard on it and a new process and just the new form factor with the flat display and things of that nature so it's your man bg tech life i was just sharing a new update with you and my predictions on the pixel 8 and pixel 8 pro it's your boy bg i'm out peace